guys, it's Vicki. Welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be part two of the yard sale adventure that I went on. Um, so I haven't listed everything yet. I do have some things listed still, but I did have a few sales. So I just want to kind of do an update video before I forgot to do the update video and go over what sold. Honestly, I feel like the items that were going to give me the most profit have already sold. So I included those in this. Now I'm going to put the photos of what sold like over here, I guess, in this area. Um, so we can go ahead and get into that. Well, the first item that sold was the Coach Vintage Leather Large Bucket Bag. Now I paid a dollar for that. Whenever I originally went into the room where all the purses and handbags and everything were, um, there was three coach bags just like the one I picked up. Now two of them were really dirty and I kind of regret not getting them now. Um, they were all marked at $10 but then whenever I got to the checkout it was only a dollar. So I kind of really wish I would have got the others because this one sold for a lot and apparently that style of bag does really well. Um, so anyway as you can see it's a coach vintage bucket bag. I sold it for $95 and my earnings were $70 and my earnings were $74.20. The next item that I sold was that Bowden striped green and gray t-shirt. I think I picked that up for 50 cents I believe. Um, I sold it for $15 and I made a profit of $10.20. The next item was the Sundance Heathered Gray Vanessa Wrap Top. Um, I think that I got that from the church sale as well. And I paid $2 for it. And I sold it for $25, which gave me a $20 profit. And the next item were the Rothies, of course. They sold that night that I listed them. Um, and it's, there's a funny story, and I will tell you about that in a second. But, so they were the Rothy's Marigold Point Toe Flats. They were basically new without tag, and I will let you know the reason they were there. was because they had two left insoles, which I did not know. I sold them like that, and the buyer actually let me know. So, I went to the Rothy's website and ordered her some insoles, which were like 10 bucks, and just shipped them to her because I felt horrible because, like, I couldn't tell a difference. So, I mean, it looked normal to me, but apparently it wasn't. But anyway, so I sold those for $120. I had them listed for $125. She offered me $120, and I was like, yes, please. So that was a profit of $96, and I paid $2 for those shoes. Um, and then the last item that sold were the pair of Adidas Terex Ad Adiprene sneakers. Um, I listed them for, I think I listed them for like $35. And I offered a liker uh, $28 and $4.99 shipping, which gave me a profit of $20.60, and she accepted. So I spent $40, and honestly, with the five items that I sold so far, I didn't even spend that much. So I sold five things, right? And I paid literally $7.50 for all five of those items, and I've turned that $7.50 into $221. So that is pretty good. And honestly, I think I'm going to start going yard selling every Saturday because it's starting to be that time where it's warming up. People are wanting to get rid of stuff. So it's probably a good time to start. I'm pretty shook <laughs> um, that I was able to flip it that fast because a lot of my things will have to sit for a while. I have to, you know, delete and relist. But these ones sold literally within the first week. So um, the Adidas sold the same day and the Rothy sold the same day. Uh, the coach bag it sold I want to say two days later. Um, but yeah so that that was a good um, a good sourcing trip. Um, and also for those of you who monetize your YouTube videos just an FYI because whenever I was making this video I was entering the title and I was going to call it the $40 flipping challenge but whenever I went to put that in, I have TubeBuddy, it's an extension on my computer. So whenever um, I'm doing like my tags and all that for YouTube, it'll let me know alerts, right? So when I use the word flipping or flip, it said that YouTube will demonetize, 
It said that YouTube would demonetize your videos if you use those words in the title. And I was like, what? I mean, obviously I don't make money off of Google or, you know, AdSense or anything like that. So it's not an, an issue in me, but I still don't want to use it just in case for future if I ever do decide to do that. Um, but yeah, for those people who like to put the word flipping in your titles, you should download the TubeBuddy. It's, I have the free version and it lets you know that. And it, it's it's a lifesaver because you definitely don't want to make a video and add your ads into it and the next thing you know, wonder why am I not making any money? Well, it's because you have the word flipping or flip in your title. Yeah, just a little, you know, note. Okay, so that was the update for what sold uh, from my yard sale sourcing video. If you have not seen that video, I will link that in the description below. I will try to add a card somewhere. Sometimes you see little cards come up here. Um, I'll attempt to do that. I don't know how to do that, honestly. I think I've gotten lucky once and did it. Um, but anyway, I am about to make some more videos. I feel like making videos, so I will talk to you all in the next video. Have a great night.